Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we have a very nice flight controller board from Holybro. Thank you guys for sending me this sample to test. It's the Holybro Acute, which is having an OSD built in and a lot of nice features. I will try to, to go quickly through them. It has soldering pads, as you can see, so you will not have to mess around with the connectors. Built in bag of 5 volts. It has a battery input up to 6S, which means that you can solder directly the XT60 connector to the board. That's very handy. You will save a few cables and it will be in a fixed position. But it means also that you have a battery voltage monitor. It has the standard format of 13.5 centimeters uh, mounted holes, so you can stack with your PDB or, or anything else. It has uh, three UART ports. One is for the OSD. The other one can be used for SBUS or you can, I guess, you can also solder the buzzer. And it has a black box of eight megabytes. That's also very nice. Usually an H32 used to have like two megabytes that sometimes can be not much. But it, I think it's quite okay. Okay, let's do the unboxing. It's important to say that these guys are not directly selling, they will sell through resellers like uh, Banggood but it still is nice that they send through DHL in a very quick uh, shipping way so thank you guys again it comes in a nice uh, little box well protected inside with a cable with the XT60 connector and also with the usual uh, cable to, to plug into the UART uh, number 2 and configure the OSD We are plugging the board for the first time. Let's try with clean flag first. Well, first we can see that by default the UR3 is set like serial air X, so that's uh, probably for SBUS. Let's check the memory of the black box. I'm very curious about that. Well, I, I see there 8 megabytes, that's uh, quite okay. In order to install another firmware, as uh, Vitafly, we recommend to do a full erase. So then we select no reboot uh, sequence and flash on connect, full chip erase. And then we will press the uh, boot button, that is very handy in this case. We don't have to sort two pins like in other boards, but just to press the button and then flash. In order to install the firmware of the OSD and also to set the configuration, we need to power through the battery. Don't try to power through the USB or through the UART, it will not work, just power through the battery, okay? Don't waste the time, just solder your uh, battery connector and then you can flash with the usual way, with Arduino. If it's the first time you use the OSD, remember always to upload the font for the first time or the fonts. You can use uh, big ones, it doesn't matter, but always upload the font before uh, any change, otherwise have problems with the fonts, okay? And then you can set uh, the position of value and you can remove those that you don't like and you don't want to see. Don't mm, add too many values because it will be a little bit messy to, to pay attention on that, especially if you are flying fast. I will keep doing videos of this nice little board. The next one, actually, I want to start soldering uh, some devices, the radio receiver, uh, probably through the SBUS uh, connector, through the um, UR3, to play a little bit with the OSD, maybe even adding GPS. I'm currently designing a case that it will be for free in Thingiverse, sponsored by Polybro. Uh, my goal will be to be able to avoid the use of any PDBs or PEC because we have the 5 volts uh, output that sh should be enough and for the only thing that should be powered with a different voltage that is the VTX uh, I will power through the um, battery connector so if you want to stay tuned, subscribe, you will help me a lot, like it and thank you very much for watching, see you next time